Watch the baby. Oh, oh. I think poor Ethan almost had a fire in the harvester. Not sure what she's doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Listen. That's not good. Not good, not good. Hey, Mama. Alright, I gotta give you a little shot. Oh. Watch your babies. Watch your babies. Watch your babies. Oh, oh. Oh, you're so cute. Sorry, Mom. Hi, baby. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Oh, are you my baby? Don't make me fall in love with you. No. A few things about this ewe, uh, because she hasn't been in the program, she hasn't been sheared, she hasn't been hoof trimmed, and um, what's the other thing? She hasn't been vaccinated. So what's going to have to happen, these little lambs, I will have to vaccinate them directly. Oh, they're so cute. It's funny, the first lambs, you're just like, you want to sit for hours and just stare at them, and then the last lamb, you're like, oh my god, I'm so glad we're done, and you run to the house. Yeah, but I can't really get enough of that. Okay, I am gonna run to Ethan's and grab the merger for the hay. Today should be a really good drying day. Uh, we'll probably merge this late afternoon, I'm thinking. Ethan likes having two rows into one. He's got a pretty big, har uh, pretty big harvester. And to make it run really the most efficiently, um, you need it to run at full capacity, which means even though this hay is pretty thick, um, he likes it when we merge two into one. So we're gonna do that for him probably this afternoon. And then hopefully we've got everybody. I've got Monty lined up for tomorrow. Mark is lined up for tomorrow. I am lined up for tomorrow. Bob is coming. I don't know how long he can be here for. We tend to like to do most stuff ourselves, but with hay, we just don't have the acres to justify um, having all the equipment, all the breakdowns. <laughs> for like a day of hay. So it's just a little bit more planning and uh, they threw in a little bit of rain on Wednesday so then all our plans kind of got pushed to Saturday. Morning guys, it's Saturday, which means it is hay day. Um, I'm going in today with a good attitude. Not like every other year where I'm just dreading the worst. Everything seems kind of chill this morning. Uh, we, it's a nice day, it's cold, but uh, it's supposed to warm up. It's supposed to be sunny all day. I've got Monty lined up for 10. Ethan's coming at 10. Hopefully Bob's son Andrew is coming. I'm just taking the merger back to Ethan's and starting to grab wagons, bring them home. Uh, he also has these wagon snatcher connectors. Um, we have some too, which we use for all our big bales and our bale wagons when we do straw, but uh, his are a little bit different.
finished in like record time. A few minor little uh, hiccups. One being Ethan came zooming in with the harvester, kind of going like like that to us, and we were like, "What? What?" And uh, all I saw was Mark friggin' shut the wagon off and run. And I'm like, "What the heck is going on?" And uh, I think poor Ethan almost had a fire in the harvester, so he was smart enough that he saw the sprayer tender that was fully stocked with water, and he went, he drove right to it, and then he just. He uh, polluted the harvester with uh, with the big high pressured water. So glad we had that kind of all filled up. We don't usually, but Mark's been spraying. The hay got really dry on us, which never happens. And well, it only happens when we don't when we don't want dry hay. But yeah, it uh, was kind of sitting near our bearing, and I think it just got hot and it was smoking like crazy. Well, I uh, was just coming out to the barn here to check that you with her lambs and make sure she had some water. We have a little surprise. Of course, the day we finish hay. Well, I think this is a ewe lamb. A scheduled ewe lamb. With a single, not sure what she's doing. But she doesn't hate it. So we're gonna move them over with the other ones. And do all the things. Do all of the things. It's okay. Hi, little ewe lamb. Okay, because uh, she, that's a ewe lamb, she won't follow. She's too scared of me. So we're gonna put this one in the lambing pen. I'm gonna use a gate to uh, bring them up. You guys usually don't see me do this, so thought I'd show you what I do with all my ewe lambs, because. Uh, they won't follow the lamb. I'm too scared. Morning guys, it's Sunday. I am on chore duty again, two Sundays in a row. Feels pretty good actually. And then I probably should shut this hay bag up that we did yesterday. We were cheaters and we only had to do 20 acres yesterday, 
Um, and I think that's my max for a day. It's like 20 acres a day, one bag. You're done in good time. No husbands and wives are yelling at each other. It's great. What do we got? Mama? I would say so. Good girl. You got more where that came from? lots of milk but I for insurance I just give everyone that first drink of colostrum just for insurance and it also helps get them their tummy stimulated so they want to drink get up and drink more you must have just had this I've been watching the cameras hey hi don't hurt me don't hurt me no Listen, that wasn't very nice. That really hurt. You don't need to be like that. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, that should get you going. What do you got here? Good girl! Hey, thank you, Hi, baby. Show the people how good you look. Look how good I look! You gotta get tagged today. Yes, you do. You already, you already want nothing to do with me because you got a mom. That's fine. It's fine. I understand. Our little one from last night is doing great. They are bonded nicely. She's been drinking. She. It's a she. These guys are doing amazing. She still hasn't cleaned, so this will be day three for her getting treated. Um, lambs are doing really well. They're gonna need to get tagged today. Um, and I might leave them in here until I move all these guys. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna move them just right in here. Um, so yeah, I don't know if Mama's gonna have another one. I'm gonna let her be for a bit and just keep an eye on her. I like it if she lambs. She's a mature you. She should be able to do it on her own. Oh, mama. Aww. I think that was a Tunis. Very dead. Very, very dead. Yeah. I should have checked you, I guess, eh? Yeah. So we had another one. Number three was alive. Number two was not. Okay. I don't know if it's just dirty or if it's a tuna. Could be just dirty. Good job, Mom. I thought you were done. Should have checked you for more. Hey, baby. You want a bottle?
So this one definitely was stillborn. There's no eyes, like the sockets are hollow. Uh, so very, just not developed yet. What is that going on down here? Mama! Oh no. No, 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 no. That's not good. Not good, not good. Okay, Mom. Hey. hit her nose when she tried to jump it off the gate. Okay. That's your baby. I'm going to let these two bond. I'm going to grab a bottle for this one. I'm going to check you for another one, Mama. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. Is that why you're not paying attention to your lammy? This one's coming out good. You ready? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, beautiful. Hi. That's your baby, Mommy. This is your other baby. Yeah. Good girl. Those are your babies. This is a girl. Girl. Should I check for another one just in case? I think that's it. I think that's it. Good mommy. Gotta dip that other one now. <laughs> go, Mom. Good. First time, Mama? And I think she's going to be okay. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, you guys. It is Monday. Tomorrow is the official due date on these ladies, but some decided to come a bit early. That's fine. I have another you back there, the one that lost her lamb yesterday, and she also has retained placenta, so that's two. <gasps> Did you lose yours? Oh, this one might. This is day four for our oopsie daisy. I'm gonna call you Daisy. I think I'm gonna call her Daisy. Oopsie daisy. Um, can you turn around so I can see? 
I think maybe she actually has cleaned finally. She has cleaned. This one has not. Hey, you've made a mess. This mama I am so happy with. She was so nervous yesterday. And look at that. Glorious. We just had shift change, and Carissa had a set of twins that now look like a set of three. So we do have to watch her udder. She's fairly low, but her teeth placement at least is kind of to the side, so she should be okay. She's a good mom. Nice size lambs. Wow. There you are. Oh boy, I was away all day today. Uh, I decided before we got really busy with lambing, I had to get my wool to Mariposa because they want to start working on our winter launch. They've already been starting to work on the fall stuff and it's so cute. So I can't wait to share all that stuff with you guys once the time comes. It is really nice to talk to those ladies. They're so amazingly talented and sweet and uh, it's just nice collaborating with people kind of outside of what I do and yet very much in line with what I do. So anyway, a good day away, but oh my God, it's such a long drive. Um, and then I actually went and visited a good friend of mine. He lives about 45 minutes away from the wool mill um, and I might be buying some rams from him in the next few weeks. So uh, it was nice to go and uh, see him and meet his family and see his farm. I haven't seen it. We were in a course together like we were trying to figure out today when it was like 2014 or 2015 I think. Anyway so it was a good day away but every time I looked in the cameras I could not see any action so I'm a little bit scared to see if I've missed any in those cameras. So that has happened. How are you guys? Hey? They look pretty good, Mama. Did they find your udder? Excellent. How are you guys doing in here? I let uh, I let the first triplets out and I opened this all up for them. How's it going over here? So tomorrow I will have to tag that one and the new twins born last night and eventually these ones, I guess, and I will have to let her out. I'm gonna let her out in the morning. This one is pretty rammy on, on the lambs that were beside her, so I just was scared to let her out to have full rain on my little sweet triplets. I didn't trust her quite yet, so I'll let her out tomorrow. I'll let you out tomorrow. Well, kind of a unproductive day, which is good for me since I wasn't here, and uh, tomorrow is their due date, so we will see what tomorrow brings. It's also my mom's birthday. I will have to remember that in the morning. You guys have to remind me, except for you're not going to see this till it's too late. <laughs>